What's up guys, it's TJ with Solo Hunt Fish and we're here for another episode um, and today we're at the house. Uh, today we're at the house, we're uh, going to shoot the bow a little bit at the house, um, just kind of shoot it around and whatnot and then uh, I got something new. So uh, let's, uh, let's shoot the bow a little bit and then uh, bust out the new thing. Alright, stick with me. Alright guys, so we're in the yard, uh, we're going to take a few shots with uh, my Matthews here. And uh, In my backyard I have basically a uh, 40 yard range. Um, I shoot the whole back fence of my, my yard and, and lets me just shoot a little past the 20s and 30s like the norms and, and I usually just stay from where the bow is about back is 39 and back um, and I can probably squeeze if I went to the back corner there I could probably squeeze out 43, 44 depending on which target I shoot. but um, today I'm going to shoot the black pig that's down there um, and just take a few shots at it. So let's see how that goes. One thing I want to say is if you guys are uh, new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, comment if you uh, have some ideas for me. Uh, if you are already a returning person, this is only my second. Um, my this is only my second video episode, if you may, um, then I appreciate you returning. And look at that. And my flock of honks coming over. Pretty cool. We're not going to be shooting any of them, though. Um, so, again, thanks you guys for following me. Appreciate it. He's going to bark through this entire video, I can already tell. So the sight I'm shooting is um, an HHA Sports. It is a slider, rear slider. Um, that I have dialed out to a little over 80 yards um, with my bow. It's uh, I've never really been a fan of the single pin sliders, uh, you know, prior to obviously shooting one now, and I actually grew to become a fan of it, uh, a fan of it, and so now I have been contemplating whether I should get another one or not. Um, I know they're very pricey, and I'm not one to say I always want to just dump a bunch of cash into one, um, and so. I was thinking about changing it out, but shooting pretty good. Uh, you know, in episode one, we shot um, El Dorado Hills and uh, did pretty good. A lot of it was me, a lot of it was wind, just I couldn't compensate for, but shooting okay. What do you guys like? Do you guys like single pins, multi pins, sliders versus stationary? What do you guys like, huh? Leave a comment. So one thing I like about the slider 
is it's very open or single pin at least it's very open I don't have much to get in the way I guess you would say I don't have much there to get in the way I can basically just put the dot right in the middle and kind of shoot it like a red dot style on a firearm uh, and that's what I've grown to really like about it um, shooting all multi pins and stationary multi pins fives and sevens and threes um, it kind of got a little cloudy or, 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 or flustered. So. We're only going to shoot these four arrows. That dog is annoying. And then, I have something else for you guys. Alright, so we just shot four arrows. Uh, we're shooting the pig target. Uh, one of them. I didn't really like what it did, and uh, the other ones are okay, but we'll see what happens with it. I don't know if I'm high on one or not. But I was shooting for straight um, 40 yards. Yeah, it looks like one's, lower. One, one's a little high. So as you can see, I shot high on this one. This was the last shot. I just we didn't feel good. It is what it is, and uh, we got three good ones here. All right, we're done shooting for the day. So now I got um, a little something that we should share with you guys, all right? So let's go do that. All right. So we got a new site. And I went with the XL, 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 whatever you guys want to call it. XL site um, made by Trueball. Now, I decided to go single pin slider again. Um, little, basically the same as my HHA. Um, but I wanted to try something new. And I've never tried an XL. And I hear really good reviews about them. So... XL Accu Hunter. In the standard, I did not want the Plus, which has the crosshairs. Um, again, I'm trying to get away from clutterness um, and just straight open single pin. So let's play with it and throw it on. So I'm pretty excited about this uh, site. Um, I have been researching what kind of site I want to change to. Um, you know, something different. Right now, on my bow, I'm running an HHA uh, slider still, you know, still sliding uh, sight, but uh, I, episode one, I mean, I was at target number two, I went to the wrong, um, I went to the wrong uh, s spot. I went to 23 instead it should have been 26, and, uh, you know, obviously, I'm a dodo, -do, it's my, my fault, but um, this HHA sight tape is running basically every five yard increments. Um, and I wanted a little bit, something with a little bit more precise to it versus this one's obviously thumb drive. Um, and, uh, some of the other ones are dial drive, um, or, or, uh, barrel drive or whichever, whatever you want to call it, um, versus this one. So, um, let's swap it out, see how it goes. Um, and then we'll shoot it. It's always hard when you uh, have a 
a set of, that's dialed in to pull it off like this. And you, sometimes you come, obviously you can see I, I do a lot of rifle shooting too. You come from a rifle perspective and scopes and stuff and you, you would never take off a scope that's dialed in um, without knowing that you have to recite in at all of your yardages again. Um, it's obviously a little bit different with, uh, with archery. There's no magnification, at least this one doesn't have magnification. So the, uh, the changes don't vary as much as say a 20 power rifle scope. Um, so for what you guys, some of you that may or may not disagree or you know, whichever way, um, I could take this side off and put it back on and it should be dead back on. It basically, basically should return to zero. Um, and, but um, we're gonna take it off. I'm not gonna move it too much because what I'm gonna do is utilize these bracket trees as far as 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 to then calibrate my XL. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to find my 20 there and then match everything up here and it should be good. Um, we're going to see a huge failure if it doesn't work, so stand by. Alright, now that we got the side off the bow, um, I'm just going to put that aside real quick. And bust out the XL. I am obviously, as you can see, one of those guys that always takes some kind of precaution in un opening something. <coughs> I'm trying to do it as clean as possible. Alright, so in opening the box here, um, we obviously have the label for my AccuHunter. Um, and then your instructions on how to use the Acu Hunter. Sight tapes. Looks like we get two sight tapes, one through 40. Um, I don't know what we're going to use, uh, but we'll figure that part out later. I mean, literally, I can probably just take this, match up the dialing on here. I don't know. We'll wait, for, we'll wait till later for that. We have some hardware. It looks like a bunch of tools. That's kind of cool. So, wrenches and installation screws. And then the side, so pretty cool. I, I actually like green as far as fibers. Uh, I'm a big fan of green. This is a 19, a .019 um, fiber optic. Uh, and I mean, like for example, on my rifle, on my shotguns, when I uh, I shoot Benelli shotguns, and I change all the fiber optics from the standard red or stock red to greens. Uh, when I shoot low light, I just feel like for me, green sticks out a lot better. So that was another selling point for me is that this was a basically a green sight. Um, you know, some people will ask, why didn't you go with a dovetail bar or something like that? And, and for me, I, I just couldn't justify the, the amount of money extra it is for a dovetail. I don't really remove my sights um, once they're on and dialed. Uh, but um, I think with this one, from the way it looks like, I think you can probably convert it. I don't know. Um, but... This is ran, like I said, on a on a wheel. Well, not a wheel. This one's a star drive. Uh, but basically, the idea of the wheel, it moves it far forward. Uh, one thing on my bow, because I run the Matthews quick connect, dis, quick connect or dis, quick disconnect um, quivers, the tension knob or lock knob for the HHA was in the way as I try to get into the, you know, with the arrows there. So I'd have to t either move the arrows out of the way or tuck my head to get in there and, um, and work it and, and manipulate it. But now, if I know right, when this is on the bow, this should be right in front where I'd have to reach around the arrows, but I'd still be able to manipulate the slider. So, 
So, let's put it on. Cool. What do you guys think? Pretty legit. I'm liking it. <laughs>